Hello everybody. Today's lesson is going to focus on weather tools. But before we start weather tools, we're going to review the water cycle. So as we can see in this image here, the water cycle doesn't have a beginning or an end. It's a cycle that never ends. So just to review what each section means, I'm going to start at collection, which we can see at the bottom of the image on top of the river. Collection is when water collects. This could be puddles, lakes, rivers, oceans, or ponds. Next, the water that is collected is heated up by the sun. When it gets hot enough, the water becomes a gas and evaporates, rising up to the sky. Here is where the water condenses into the clouds. The teeny tiny water droplets inside of the clouds start to merge together or join together, creating larger drops of water. Once the water drops become too large and too heavy, it falls back down to earth in the form of precipitation. So precipitation could be rain, sleet, hail, or snow. Next, moving on to weather tools. I know that many of us have not discussed weather tools in person, so I'm just going to do a brief explanation of what each weather tool is and what we measure with this weather tool, or with each weather tool. The first weather tool that we're going to discuss is the rain gauge. Most of us probably already know what a rain gauge is, but we didn't realize that it was a weather tool. You might even have a rain gauge in your yard. A rain gauge is used to measure the amount of rain that has fallen. So if we look closely at the picture of the rain gauge, we can see one side is inches and the other is centimeters. So that's how we would measure how many inches or centimeters of rain that has fallen. This next weather tool is called a wind vane. You may have seen wind vanes in movies, cartoons, or you may even have one at home. A wind vane measures the direction that the wind is blowing. So if we look closely at this picture of the wind vane, we can see that it has north, south, east, and west. So this, the wind vane tells us what direction the wind is blowing. Is it blowing north, south, east, west? This next weather instrument is called an anemometer. Go ahead and try to say that one time. Anemometer. This weather tool measures how fast the wind is blowing or the speed that the wind is blowing at. It is easy to mix up a wind vane and an anemometer. The key thing to remember is that a wind vane has directions on it, north, south, east, and west, while the anemometer does not have directions on it. It measures the speed at which the wind is blowing, not the direction. This next weather tool is a thermometer. This is the easiest weather instrument to recognize because we have all seen an outdoor thermometer at some point. This is different than the thermometer that you would use to measure your own temperature, and we can tell that it's different than what we use to measure our temperature because firstly, it goes up to 120 degrees, and our bodies, we don't get that hot, right? It's usually around 98 degrees, and they're shaped differently. So an outdoor thermometer is used to measure the temperature outside. This next weather tool is called a barometer. This weather tool measures air pressure. Meteorologists or weather forecasters use barometers to help them predict the weather. Usually, low air pressure, which we can see on the left side of the barometer, means that it will be cloudy and rainy. And on this barometer, it has a helpful little image. On the left side, we can see that it has a rain cloud. And high air pressure, which is on the right side, means that the weather will be clear. And we can see on this barometer, on the right side, it has the picture of a bright sun. I hope that you enjoyed learning about different types of weather tools, and I hope that you send your teacher a drawing or a video of you talking about your favorite weather tool and what it could be used for. I know that you guys are working really hard, and you're trying your best, and I'm so proud of you. Until next time.